Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another Walter Reviews. Um, now, I don't normally do uh, one day reviews. Normally, I let the film sit with me. And I used to do I used to do one day reviews like I'd, I'd watch the movie immediately and, and give you straight away my thoughts. But I, I normally nowadays I let the film stew with me. I don't let it I don't let it overtake my emotions because normally I think what it is is if you gave your instant reviews, normally you'd be, you know, affected by um, emotions which I don't really want to do anymore I mean it's it was fun to do uh, at, at a point but um, you know if, if I want to do this more professionally professionally I need to you know <clears throat> I do need to do more of a you know let the movie sit with me stew with me but I think that this is a small enough movie to kind of give you an immediate thoughts of it and obviously it's it's um it's a it's a foreign movie which is um it's called Anapurni. Uh it's an Indian based movie on Netflix right now if you want to go and check it out. Um I would say watch the trailers and then gauge from there whether or not you want to you want to watch the movie or not because what I will say is I think if you watch the trailers you would know note for note how the movie will turn out. There's no twists, there's no turns, nothing at all. I would say the pacing of this movie is very poor. Uh, you do feel the runtime. I was constantly checking the, the movie's runtime and I kept on trying to forward the movie and uh, sometimes I forwarded some parts which were important per se and then I had to rewind obviously. Um, to the to the part where I missed out on. Um, if you've watched any Bollywood movie, I think this can be easily passed on. I mean, the only reason I think you would you would want to watch this movie is perhaps <clears throat> for the feminist turn on the message of the movie. Obviously, it's um it's more on like women power, women empowerment, all of that. That's the theme of the movie. Um, but the main idea of the movie is essentially follow you follow your dreams. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of you are. And I think I've watched too, one too many um, chef movies that are kind of this formula. So I would say that they don't really veer off the, the formula too much and therefore i think that it was kind of a waste of time for me to watch it because what i i wanted to do was i wanted to see her you know why she loved food so much and i and, and i know that it's kind of a one note thing you know it's the, the whole like oh it's, you know she loves food because of her family but i did want to see her second arc of the movie kind of expanding on her you know, trying new flavors, especially when, spoiler alert, she does break her own vegetarian tradition and eats more meat products. And I think you would really could have gone more shokugeki kind of style in that way. Like, she first tries, like, a really great meat dish, per se. Maybe a really good, like, Indian meat dish, per se. Maybe um, a chicken tiki masala or something like that you know uh, or maybe you know a pork dish you know really great pork dish or a really great um, chicken dish or really great fish dish you know it, it doesn't have to be pork it doesn't have to be I mean it doesn't have to be pork it has it could be it could be chicken it could be fish it could be it could be squid it could be crab it could be whatever right I mean I know that some Hindus don't eat pork I know that obviously Hindus don't eat beef, so those two aren't out of the question. But essentially, I would have liked to see that more expanded on. And um, the whole third arc of the movie is kind of not believable because she kept on eating the food. And I was like, okay, but like how how is she going to, you know, I was constantly breaking my immersion because I was like, okay, but how is she going to, tell her flavors you know she's she's obviously tasting it now but um obviously they cover it by saying like oh okay it's the, the texture of the chewing and i mean i was like okay i could excuse that but in some scenes you know she, she obviously is gulp, gulping them down and i know 
that obviously if you, if you choose something you you'd obviously gulp it down you obviously sw you obviously form a sp uh, spit a uh, spittle and obviously uh, obviously will you your body will uh, take it um, uh, and that that, that that makes sense but i'm just saying like in some in some instances it it did kind of i mean i would say that it's very hard to portray someone who lost their sense of taste uh i think it would have been better if it was like a sense of sight but i i do think i do think like it's a harder challenge if it's lost sense of taste i mean because all all a chef has is a sense of taste but um you know she still uses her sense of smell and etc etc uh the b plot however i didn't think was really needed i do think that the the famous chef Anand still had some responsibility by the the end of the third arc, even though the son is like no no I don't need I don't need your your silver spoon anymore I'm gonna go out and venture on my own, but I'm like but to be fair in defense of you you know Ashwin you know you have some valid points you know why did he he go all out for the the girl that you know really you know came out of nowhere and and you know and is is technically invading your space i'm not saying that he's uh, not an asshole with what he was doing but he he was definitely an asshole but what i'm saying is there is definitely breadcrumbs there that the dad did not really bring him up as a son son he brought him as a chef's son which is two different things because essentially it's like you know, you don't let, you don't, you don't, you didn't really let him explore what his interests are outside of cooking. Maybe, you know, push him to do something else, you know. It doesn't have to be this type of cooking. And that's why I do think that in itself is a failure of the film to to really call out and to really make sure that, okay, we understand that this part of the story is done, but we do agree that there is certain parts that the upbringing might not be right. I mean, there is a technical one layer underlying that kind of lets us know about it, but it's never really, it's never really explored by the end of it. And I kind of do feel a bit bad for the, for the, for the villain at the end. It's either one of two things. It's either you make him really an asshole and we don't want to forgive him, or you give him enough space to redeem him. And I don't think that they did give him enough space to redeem him. And I, that's why I think that it's so important. Even though it's it's a it's a villain character, it's an antagonist, and I mean it's not really a villain. It's a technical an antagonist character. If it, even though it's an antagonist character, we do need to see his path to re redeem himself. And that's not... The way they ended it is not really my way of thinking of like him going to redeem himself. It's more of him accepting his father's literal disowning of him. Because if he's like, okay, if you lose, therefore you can't cook anymore. You know, and And to a chef, you know... I, I, I do definitely think that chefs are one of the most egotistical pr people out there, but there is specific reason for that, and I, 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 I do that. I know, know, I do know that it's very important for an e uh, for a chef to have ego because if they don't have ego, then they they're not really passionate about what 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 they're what they're doing, what they're cooking. Um, but um, for me, I don't know. I don't know that that especially the the relationship between protagonist and antagonist didn't really sit well with me um and for a feminist movie there were sure a lot of scenes where there were white knight cases i mean listen like i mean did, i mean i don't know for me I, I i i've seen a lot of women empowerment movies to the point i'm bored of it you know I don't care whatever genitalia you have between your legs. If you, if you have the talent, you have the talent, right? It's not about. I I don't see the world in in black and white. I don't see. I mean, obviously, colors is unavoidable. I what I mean by I don't see the world in black and white is I don't see it as simple as it's a man 
therefore they will be better than you. You're a woman, therefore you will be inferior to you. I don't see it that way. Obviously, you might clip them up and say it in a different way, but I'm saying it in the context of I am in the business of seeing who is the best, right? Obviously, if you're better than this, if you're better than this person, then you will be, you will be prioritized over the other person. Number one, number two is how efficiently you can do the job, right? Number three is obviously how much of a distance you have between the other person. Like, what is your skill set? Obviously, it's technically tied to the first one, but what is your 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 level of skill set, right? So. I do, I do definitely think that this is a very boring narrative to bring in, especially in the year of our the year of our twenty twenty three. Now moving into twenty twenty four, um, I mean we are literally in twenty twenty four. Happy New Year, by the way. Um, and I don't know. I I've been putting off watching this movie for a few for a few days. I've seen it on Netflix on on my recommended list, and I. And I've been putting it off because I'm. I was worried that what I assumed this movie was about, it was about. <laughs> there was literally nothing in the movie that added value, nor did it did it make any twists or turns in the movie for me to go. Oh shit, this is a really high stakes agenda. Right, this is a really high stakes climax. This is a really high because we've seen a lot of movies like this before, you know. We know the protagonist is gonna make it out of there. You could have made her lose the saying and but you could have made her lose but she still pursued her her dream, right? She still maybe she inspired other people to win the the, the chef. I think that would have been a much better message for what she was going for. She's not a literal winner. She's a winner in terms of helping a lot of people achieve their dreams. And I think that would have been tied in so much so much better to the religious aspect that they were adding in. Um, obviously, I was going to think that maybe they're going to take the, the whole flip side and say well that that's because you you know you're you you're saying like oh you know the religious side of it is all will also say it like oh it's because you you're a mediator etc etc but i think if you're a very strong-willed person and, and i and i know that this is definitely a, a gender issue definitely on that point um, and and obviously a caste issue as well because of indian and i mean all asian mentality that you know women are inferior but, but that's a very traditional mindset obviously especially in the chinese my 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 specific ethnicity group where they literally killed off girl babies because they didn't want to have girls um and that that's a sad fact in history obviously but um my point is that i i think that they could have weaved their story much better and they could have taken more risks now would it, would those risks have paid off i would not know right I, obviously i would need to see them to be like okay that, that's a high quality risk that you took it didn't work because this 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 or it did work because this is this and i would have been excited um and by the way i i thought that some since the dubbing was very very noticeable i don't know what movie this was originally and i think i think this was in tamil um either tamil or or uh you know hindi um but i i do see some scenes where the adr the 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 sound in and it's it's very noticeable and it, it's very stark to me because i do I do not really like to see people's mouths move when they don't match the words that they're saying. For example, like if I say like, you know, water, you know, you see you see the lag. And I mean, it's not really water. There's just, you know, and it's something else, you know. 
and they put it over another word. Um, and I don't really like that. Um, obviously, some of the accents you kind of kind of cringe, but I mean, I don't know whether it was a real French person or not doing the accents. I think if you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about, the French president. Um, I, perhaps if it was, then ADR kind of didn't do it justice because I was like, I don't... I don't know if that sound would be that sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's certain things, because I'm very auditory, like, I, I am attracted to sounds, and I, I do I do pick up things that, that other people won't. And I'm also visual, because I do notice a lot of bad CGI, and one of the worst CGI's, in my opinion, is The Flash. But before The Flash, it was Little Mermaid, um... What a year. Um, uh, but yeah, so in terms of it would be auditory first, then, then visual, then story for me. I mean, story would definitely come first. Obviously, it would be a high-ranking thing. Then followed closely by visuals and then auditory if I were to rank it really properly. Um, but obviously, if the story is good and the visuals kind of meh I would still have some issues about that because I do hold the film to such a quality um but yeah I, w- I would say don't if you if you want to check it out check it out but honestly it's not really worth the two hours in my opinion I think if you watch the trailers you know literally note for note what they're gonna do it's about a person chasing their dreams what what are they gonna what are they gonna face what's the t- story's problem oh they're not being respected by the by, by their fellow peers what's the next one the next one is um you know the next one is is there someone who is jealous of their their talents yes there is what's the next one are they gonna sabotage them yes there are there are what's the next one um, there's a there's a mentor that really believes in the uh, the the mentee's skill and not their own their no not their own uh, chef skill, uh, you know not their own current chef skills. So that further divides the ridge between the chef, the mentor, the chef, the chef, the men, the chef and the new protege. Then what will happen next? Someone in their family don't agree, doesn't agree with their dream. Um, what's the next thing? The next thing is, are will they come out? Will they come out victorious? Definitely. Movie done. Literally, don't for no. Like, if you want to check it out, check it out. But for me, it was a it was a waste of time. Uh, I don't I don't recommend it. Um, final score. I gotta give it. I I gotta give it a three point five, man. I'm sorry. No, this this was not. This was not well done. I definitely saw a lot of issues. Uh, I know it has a pretty high rating on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes, and I'm like, oh, the amount of people buying into a lot of a lot of this you know cliches i would say at this point it's a lot of cliches a lot of tropes that are have done before and have been done better before so um yeah 3.5 maybe 4 i don't know i'm between that 3.5 to 4 um it's very mid um songs bland not memorable Story bland, not memorable. Plot bland. It's just the rags to riches. Um, ending predictable. You could see it a mile away. Um, I will say there were a lot of good cooking scenes. I mean. There were a few cooking scenes where I'm like, I would have liked to see her cooking more. I would, I would, I wouldn't mind that. But um, 
Yeah, guys, I, I, I don't know what else to say because this, is, this was really, really a waste of time. Uh, but if you guys have any recommendations you want to, you want me to review, please comment below. If you did like my review, please like it, share it, and give me a subscribe if, you, if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back. Um, now, for, for moving forward, what's my vision for 2024? I would like to... I would like to do more content, but at the same time, I'm still searching for content. If that makes sense, my my niche can't be done anymore. I, I I don't I don't really have the passion of doing reaction videos anymore. There are some there are some um series where I think I could have done reaction videos because I I had good commentary i just did it alone i think i didn't i didn't record it i was doing it myself and then i was like well i still have it in me but i don't think i can do it consistently because i don't know i i am starting to get back my love of shows and movies guys so i hope you guys understand that and once i'm fully passionate i might get back into that um but yeah for now you you you're gonna have to settle with reviews because I, I do still love talking about movies. I still do, do love talking about TV shows. And you have a, if you have a specific TV show you'd like me to talk about, please let me know. You just have to listen. Um, but, you know, it's, it's an auditory form. But I do like these kind of things. I do like to talk about movies. I do like to talk about shows. I do like to talk about a bit of more modern pop as well, modern music, you know. But I don't really listen to music anymore. So if you have any music you'd like me to listen to to, to review on I, w I wouldn't mind um i'm an i'm an old bird technically i i do like my old classical stuff and i mean i just only just got my christmas spirit so um you know i know it's a bit late it's literally the 12th day of christmas so um uh, but yeah, then uh, other than that, probably more gameplays. I'm still looking for new games to play. So if you have any games you'd like to recommend me, I am looking into Baldur's Gate. I don't know if I if I will play, it, but I I will def definitely look at the reviews for it because I am not good at at um, fighting games. But I mean, if it if it's a RPG fighting, I mean I I think I could do it, but I don't know how much rage I could record me doing because I would definitely stop literally stop the stream stop the game so i don't know if you guys would even enjoy that um if i get too angry so um anyway anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching i know it's been some time uh i want to wish you guys well this is the last day of christmas i want to wish you guys merry christmas happy holidays and happy new year i mean you know it's still new year uh, the next holiday in Malaysia would be Chinese New Year. But if you do celebrate in your country, uh, happy Chinese New Year as well. Kong Hei Fa Choi, okay? Um, and yeah, may, may your year be proper, uh, prosperous. Oh, tongue tied. Uh, that's literally the meaning of Kong Hei Fa Choi, by the way. It's literally have a prosperous New Year. So, prosperous New Year. Um, good health. Um abundance of happiness and um yeah that's about it see you guys in the next video bye